Welcome to this Palms demonstration video on how to make your own sundial. This is the third in a series of three videos, each showing how to make a different type. This video will show you how to make a Noman sundial and also how to test it to find out how accurate they are. Sundials have been used since ancient times to show the passing hours of a day. Noman sundials are probably the most common kind of sundial you might see in gardens or parks today, but they can be a little more tricky to make. They are also the most decorative, often being works of art or sculpture, like this example at Cottesloe Beach. Before we start, a couple of safety notes. Don't forget to protect yourself from the sun when working outside with a hat and sunscreen, and never stare directly at the sun. A gnomon sundial uses a triangular gnomon or shadow maker to cast a shadow on a base that is divided into angles representing hours. They are often made as a full circle, but today we are only going to make a semicircle gnomon sundial to keep it simple. To make your sundial, you will need the following equipment. A couple of pieces of normal paper, thick paper or card, a protractor, a ruler, a sharp pencil or pen, an eraser, glue or sticky tape, a clock or watch, a compass or phone compass app, an internet access or an atlas to find out latitude. We're going to use the same method to prepare the base as we did for the nodal sundial in our first video in this series. We need to divide a semicircle into 12 segments to represent 12 solar hours. The line between each segment will be 15 degrees away from the previous one. Take a piece of paper and rule a straight line at the bottom of the page, just up from the bottom a little. This is the baseline. Put a dot at approximately halfway along the line. This is the apex point. Place the crosshairs of the protractor at the apex and make a dot at the 90 degree mark. Using your ruler, join the apex line and the 90 degree dot with a line that is 10 centimeters long. Place the protractor crosshairs back on the apex. Be careful to line it up accurately. Measure and make a dot every 15 degrees at 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 105, 120, 145, and 160 degrees. Then draw a line 10 centimeters long at each angle. Being careful to make sure you line up your ruler each time to ensure the line goes through the apex point. This will give you a better result at the end. We've sped it up a little, but take your time to make sure that you're accurate. That's the hard part done. Using the internet or an atlas, find out the latitude for the city or town where you are. Latitude is the measurement of how far north or south you are from the equator. We are in Perth, so we will be using 32 degrees as our latitude. To make the gnomon or shadow maker, fold a sheet of paper in half. Put the crosshairs of a protractor on the edge of the page along the fold and measure the angle of your latitude, a dot at 32 degrees for us here in Perth. Draw a line about 10 centimetres long from the corner of the page through the 32 degree dot. Then draw a curved line from the end of the 10 centimetre line to the fold. Draw a parallel line about 1 centimetre from the 10 centimetre line. This will make the flaps to attach the gnomon to the base. Carefully cut out the gnomon. Ask an adult for help if you need it. Fold one flap back, then turn it over and fold the other flap back. These flaps will attach to the base we made earlier. Glue the main sections of the gnomon together before attaching it to the base. Glue the gnomon to the base along the 90 degree line 
with the slope facing down towards the apex and baseline. Make sure the gnomon is standing up straight. Take your gnomon sundial out into the sun with your compass or phone with the compass app. Line up the baseline in the east-west direction. The angled lines of the base should be on the north side. Notice where the edge of the shadow hits the base and write the time there. Try getting creative and cut out some shapes in your gnomon. What interesting design can you make? This sundial was a little more difficult to make, but you can be a bit more creative with it. Did you notice how the shadow moved at different times of the day? Where was the shadow at midday? Did your shadow at 10 o'clock touch right on the line? Why do you think this is? Thanks for watching this Palms video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit the Palms website, palms.edu.au.